we love engines we love speed we love power and we love tuning heck i own a tuned car and i'm pretty sure every car enthusiast wants to tune their car modify it and customize it in a way that's very unique and make their car go faster but what if i told you that the world's governments and our indian manufacturers don't really like that and ever since bs6 has come out it's become even more difficult to tune your car or modify it and that's true with most cars and it's never been more true for probably the most hyped up car for the 21st century indian auto enthusiast this over here is a volkswagen virtus now this comes with a couple of engine options it comes with the 1 liter tsi and the 1.5 tsi it also has a couple of sister cars as well it has the skoda slavia as its direct sister and if you look into the suv realm the skoda kushak and vw tigun are the other two sisters as well but all of those four cars have one fundamental problem all of the enthusiasts love them but you cannot tune this car because the ecu is locked and today i'm going to tell you why you cannot tune your volkswagen virtus Now all of this information was accurate the day we shot it. Literally 2 to 3 days after we filmed this video, Code 6 spread the news that they had unlocked the ECU of the Slavia, Kushak, Virtus and Tigon. So this video was accurate at the time of filming, but now as of today, you can tune only the 1 liter TSI variants of the previously mentioned cars. The 1.5 TSI is still locked. Now tuning is a very vast subject so let's clear out the terminologies first so that you don't get confused while watching this video so the car comes with something called as an ECU and technically you can break down the ECU into three different computers one is the ECM which is the engine control management one is the TCM which is the transmission control management and the third one is the BCM which is the body control management now people don't use those three terms very widely and the most widely used terms are mainly two and and they're more of segregated into one single thing so you have ecu which is your engine control unit and you have the tcu which is your transmission control unit so these two are the most commonly used words when it comes to tuning now what do i mean by the ecu being locked well think of your ecu as a smartphone every time you want to access data or information on your smartphone you have to unlock it with a password well the ecu is no different you have some sort of encryption in an ecu which you have to get around or you just directly have to crack it and multiple brands uh, all over the world keep on doing this on a daily basis that's why such big tuner houses like e tuners or e tuners motorsport apr and all of those big brands are so famous because they have multiple coders under them and those coders have a very simple job it's coding the car and making sure that all ecus are accessible The thing with ECU tuning is that it might sound easy because you must have seen your local tuner just plug in a laptop to the OBD port and click a couple of buttons and voila your car is now a stage 2 car but it's not as easy as it seems because the thing is the software that is used to access the ECU it's quite a complex software and the thing with the ECU is that it will ask you that password every single time that you want to access it or do some sort of a change to it so that's what makes ECU tuning so difficult now let's say i want to tune this VW Virtus over here i take some sort of a laptop connect it via the OBD port and run my tuning software well the tuning software is not going to be able to access the ecu because the custom password used by the tuning software to access it is going to get rejected and that's why you won't be able to tune the vw virtus now realistically whatever i've just explained is more than enough information for any layman viewer but this is the drivers hub and we want to dig deep and tell you the real roots and the real reason as to why you cannot tune the vw virtus and when will tuners start developing tunes and start getting access and unlocking the ecu so now i'm going to explain what is locking and what is unlocking have you ever been tired of scouring through the internet and searching for a car and just finding the same uninteresting cars that do not satisfy that car guy fire within you well tdh classifieds is your one stop solution for all of your problems anything from a legendary classic to a family sedan to a daily able hatchback TDH classifieds will definitely satisfy the car guy inside you. So what are you waiting for? Go to TDH classifieds and get yourself the car of your dreams. 
We have already spoken about the issue needing a key or a password to get it unlocked. But the difficult bit is that each and every ECU has a different password. So for example, if this Virtus has the password of XYZ, a different Virtus which is probably not here must be having ABC as the password. Just an example. Now commercial tuning softwares usually try and solve the password by negotiating with the ECU. Now when you're tuning the car and you have the software open, you'll probably see like a text saying negotiating or something like that happening on the screen. But how does your tuning tool know what the password is of the car? Well, the thing is, each and every ECU has given a hint to the tool that you're using. And using that hint, the tuning tool can calculate the password of the car. But I'm pretty sure that you've already seen people doing speed chime deletes and unlocking hidden features inside their vertices. Well, how is that possible? That stuff is pretty surface level stuff. That does not mean that the ECU will allow you access to do stuff like changing the car's air fuel ratio, valve timing, ignition timing. That stuff is super hidden and super safe inside the ECU. Just like on your phone, you can have a password just to unlock your phone, but in order to access a certain file, you have to put in a different password altogether. That's the same with ECUs. So in order to do all of that stuff that is related to tuning, that requires a completely different method of decoding. But the VW Virtus, Skoda Slavia, Skoda Kushak and VW Tygoon have one more major problem. It's that this car is an Indian made car. Now don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the VW Virtus. It's totally fine that it's manufactured in India. But there is one major problem, that this MQB A0IN platform is specifically developed for Southeast Asia. And that means that big brands like APR, Piper Cross, and all of those big names won't be developing too many products for these cars. So for example, my Skoda Laura has a carbon fiber Piper Cross intake. For Piper Cross to make an intake system for this car, a bespoke intake system, well, it doesn't make sense for them financially because the market for this car isn't that big. So for them to invest loads of money into R&D for an intake system, well, that's not going to happen. So whatever parts that are needed to tune your VW Virtus, they have to be custom made completely. That is another problem with these cars. But now you must be thinking, well, it's fine. I do not want to go to States too. I don't want an intake system. I don't want ignition coils. I don't want any of that. I just want a basic stage one tune. And the thing is, I'm pretty sure you've already caught on to it that the Virtus comes in two different engine formats, the one liter and the 1.5. Now this particular engine over here is the one liter and technically both engines should be tunable. We've recently done a video on the VW T-ROG 1.5 TSI and I'm pretty sure you've already seen the bucket loads of videos that we've made on the one liter TSI Polo. Both cars are easily tunable and most tuners are able to tune them. Why not the Virtus, Slavia, Kushak or Tygoon? Well, the thing is, even if the engine is the same, even if probably the gearbox is the same, this thing over here, which is the ECU, it is totally different. It is not the same ECU that is used in the VW T-ROG and the uh, VW Polo. It has completely different encryption and you cannot access it yet. So what to do now and what's the next step? You're a very enthusiastic guy and you want to tune your VW Virtus. Well, when can you start tuning it? I'm not sure no one has the answer because the thing is, I'm pretty sure there are multiple people around the world, multiple companies around the world, which are trying to unlock the issue of these cars. And I'm pretty sure many Indian tuning companies like Code 6, Venom Performance, E-Tuners, Motorsport, etc, etc, are trying to unlock the issue for the VW Virtus. And well, still hasn't come out yet. I have a very good example, the BMW M340i. Now I'm pretty sure you've seen a couple of cars starting to get tuned very recently. And that's because of one single company which is based in Finland, Femto. Now Femto has somehow managed to unlock the ECU of the M340i. And all of the Indian cars which are getting tuned, get their ECUs removed, they are shipped to Finland, Femto unlocks the ECU and sends it back to India. And that's unfortunate because I mean, everyone is in this business to make money and well, we can't really blame them. And of course, they're not going to give out their secret sauce to the public to use. So that is probably going to be the same fate for the VW Virtus. If one company somehow manages to crack the code, I'm pretty sure you'll have to pay money to that company only. So what next? What to do? 
I'm pretty sure someone or the other in the next six to seven months will somehow find a way to start modifying and tuning the VW Virtus and all of the other sister cars. So let's hope that the company that unlocks it is very generous, shares the uh, code to everyone in the business so that you can get your favorite tune from Code 6, Harmonix, Venom, E-Tuners, whatever it is. So Fingers crossed, whoever unlocks the issue, please share it to everyone and so that everyone in the space can start tuning these amazing machines, especially the 1.5 TSI because that is the engine to have in the car if you want to do tuning. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us in the comments down below if you like this new style of format. If you like this, comment down below and what should our next video be? Tell that too in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram, check out our website for more amazing news. I'll catch you in the next one.